Cultivated exotic meat consumption might lead humanity to a new evolution for our brain and gut microbiome because of the unique protein and amino acid profile. <laughs> I'm sure. Without the downside, such as cholesterol and saturated fats. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I have a Franken food episode for you. I want to start the video with a quote. You will live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. Nikola Tesla. Let's have a look. I am on foodnavigator.com and the article reads Lion Burger, Tiger Tacos, meet the cell cultured startup working in exotic meats. Here we have the tiger steak with 36 grams of protein. That sounds good. However, it is 100% cultivated. Cultivated meat is often heralded as an emergent alternative to intensive animal agriculture, promising new ways to produce slaughter-free beef, pork or poultry proteins. But one cellular egg startup is working from a different playbook. Prime Evil Foods is developing lab-grown exotic meats that, it says, can deliver novel food experiences and health benefits. So this is yet again another trick in the devil's playbook, I would say. Check this out. Prime Evil Foods. And then they're selling you lab-grown exotic meats. It's absolutely ridiculous. Look at the design. Great marketing, I have to say. The normie goes to the supermarket, sees a tiger steak, 36 grams of protein, nice little pictures here, and it is created by Prime Evil Foods. That, of course, appeals to the primal nature nature of the human being that appeals to the hunter instinct of the human being. The human being in this case really believes he eats a tiger. In reality, he gets chemical sludge. Created by the London-based venture studio Ace Ventures, Primeval Foods operates in a high-profile area of food tech cellular agriculture. Food tech is one of those businesses that should be illegal. The excitement around cellular agriculture largely stems from the benefits and disruptive potential on offer. What benefits? They already spoke about health benefits. How can any alleged food that has been created in a laboratory be of benefit to your health? That is of course a contradiction. The healthiest you will be if you eat your species-specific diet, as God intended. Innovators in the field can create products from cell cultures as opposed to whole plants or animals. Proponents believe that when compared to conventional animal agriculture, the production of animal tissue in bioreactors will prove a safe and more sustainable source of protein. Sure. Cellular agriculture, it is hoped, will offer a means to meet the rising appetite of the growing global population projected to reach 9 billion people by 2050, without exhausting finite natural resources and raising carbon emission levels. Meat market wide open for disruption from exotic cell egg. We are currently working on the Siberian tiger, leopard, black panther, Bengal tiger, white lion, lion and zebra. We sourced cells of the big cats from captive animals and for the zebra we sourced it from an exotic meat market. There you have it, there is an exotic meat market where you can actually get zebra. Some people will eat real zebra, you won't. Most of us aren't used to seeing zebra on the menu. I am. And big cats are unlikely to have made the dinner table in the majority of our homes. So why has Prime Evil set its sights on such a unique niche? Prime Evil points to the fact that no other animal has been domesticated since the agricultural revolution. This, the company argued, means the trillion dollar meat market is wide open for startups who are willing to double down on innovative ideas. And when you scroll down, you can see the so-called lion bird. Burger. I would really love to see the ingredients, however, I know for a fact that they haven't replicated animal fats just yet. Yes, it is true, they can take a biopsis of a muscle tissue and try to replicate those muscle tissues. 
However, up until now, it's not very successful because the texture of the muscle will never really replicate an animal because the animal actually uses its muscles for movement. The lab-grown meat, however, has to be stimulated in the laboratory via electrical impulses to make it move and give it some type of structure. Nevertheless, every single lab-grown meat company until now has admitted, actually they are proud of it, that there is no saturated fat and no cholesterol within that lab-grown meat. They are simply replicating the muscle tissues, not the fat tissue of the animal. And as we know here on the channel, the fatty tissue is of course of utmost importance because this is where you have the fat-soluble vitamins. Could exotic meat deliver health outcomes? Yes, dire health outcomes. Cora believes that the history of animal husbandry and the development of domesticated species means that wild animals could deliver health benefits not associated with the consumption of mainstream meats. Yes, that is true if you were to eat a real wild animal. Of course, of course, wild meat is the best. Of course, game meat is the healthiest. Nobody will ever debate that. Even if you look into fish, wild caught fish is always better than farmed salmon. But we are talking about lab grown Frankenstein foods. Cultivated exotic meat consumption might lead humanity to a new evolution for our brain and gut microbiome because of the unique protein and amino acid profile. <laughs> I'm sure. Without the downside, such as cholesterol and saturated fats. What did I just tell you? And now they're gonna talk about evolution. Yeah, sure. Let's take their argument. We're gonna evolve now without saturated fats, without cholesterol. We're gonna evolve into soy boys. This is absolutely disgusting and pathetic, man. Let's read on. Launching in high-end restaurants. Prime Evil currently plans to launch its commercial offering with exotic meat burger patties, pending regulatory approvals, the lion, tiger, zebra dishes will be first offered to Michelin start restaurants. Here you have the zebra sushi rolls. It's all about design. It all appeals to the normies, looks so cool. There is no nutrition in this gunk. I believe all countries are welcoming cultivated meat as an idea, but nobody wants to head the regulation except Singapore, of course. In general, what we see in novel technologies is that when a leader country, economically, culturally and legally, heads the regulation, others will follow them by adopting the framework. I think we will see that when the US regulates the industry, he predicted. Yes, he's absolutely correct. The US sets the trend for every single evil on this earth. All right, guys, and this was the article. Absolutely disgusting to see this, but not unexpected, of course. Not surprising here on this channel. If you've been following, we talked about this years ago. I think it was exactly three years ago that I mentioned lab-grown meats for the first time here on this channel, and we discussed how that will look like. Every single time you cultivate meat, you need a serum, a serum for growth. In this case, they use a bovine growth serum that comes from an unborn calf. Yes, those progressives love abortion, no matter if it's humans or animals. However, here comes the catch. The unborn calf has to be extracted, extracted from its mother while it is still alive. Yes, you heard that right, still a life, which ultimately debunks the pro-choice argument because yes, embryos are already alive. So what they do in detail is they slice open the mother cow and get that calf out of her womb. While it's still alive, they inject a huge syringe into the heart of that calf and extract the bovine growth serum. Yes, it's absolute horror. But vegans will still eat the lab-grown meat because it is oh so ethical. Absolutely disgusting. So that is the growth serum in which they cultivate that lab-grown meat. However, as I said already, that lab-grown meat offers only protein and no fat-soluble vitamins whatsoever, no cholesterol. Therefore, they infuse it with vegetable oils, palm oils, coconut oils, etc. It is a mediocre, disgusting product, detrimental for your health. 
All right, guys, so this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel and actually get real animal foods, we have everything in the description box below. 10% off on Grasslands Nutrition Organ Meats with my code Bobby10. Go check it out. All right, guys, but this is it. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.